Hello! Welcome back to a new vlog. I am um, <laughs> in the middle of, I did a little thing for something. I might I might be in a little TikTok video. I'm not sure. I'd, I'm not gonna, you know, talk about it because I'm not sure if I'm even gonna be a part of it or, at all or not, but I just thought I would tell you why I'm, why I look like this. This hair and makeup is for a specific little clip of something, but I look like Kim Cattrall, don't I? Fabulous! But hi, today I actually, it's crazy because you know how I had that extra planner and I was like, man, that's too bad I bought this. And then I got the little Louie one instead and I love that little thing so much. This one, I don't want it to go to waste. And lately I started really watching and reading. I mean, it's podcasts I'm listening to, watching YouTube videos, following tons of accounts on Instagram about gardening. This planner is going to be my garden planner. What I'm going to do is make a list as I'm watching these Instagram garden accounts of flowers and vegetables that I think look like something I would be interested in growing and then jotting down on my calendar when I need to start thinking about planting them. Even if it's this coming autumn, I want it and winter, I want it to be in this book so that I know every month what I need to consider for planning my garden. There's also ways that you can actually plan how you're going to lay out your garden, like draw it out in little sections and say what's gonna go where because some things don't like going with other things, some things need different type of soils. So that's where I'm like, ah! So if I, if I organize it in a way that makes sense to me, then I can put it in my little book here and I can make notes on those days. I can, you know, I can utilize it. It's not gonna get used as much cause it's not like gonna be a daily, like I'm not planting something every day, but I can actually document like on this day I noticed a sprout. Like I just think it'll be kind of fun to have a garden diary. So that's the plan with that planner. And then my other one, of course, my little Louis Vuitton planner that I love so much. I wonder how my Louis Vuitton purse is coming along. He said two weeks. And so now I have two. Yeah, that's all. We were supposed to have a winter storm today and it's just rain and it's just gonna continue to be rain all week long, which you guys know I love. I love my gloom, I love my rain but I was really excited about the prospect of snow and it wasn't. I even got groceries, like it's gonna snow groceries, <laughs> soups, bone broths, things like that. And alas, it is just your typical Pacific Northwest rain. There is a new video on Sienna and the Craftsman and it is me trying this beet lip stain. I was cooking the other day and I was ripping all of the skin off of this roasted beet and it was staining my hands so bad and I thought I don't want to get this on my shirt so I kept trying to wash my hands and get it off of my fingers and it wouldn't come off. And you know I'm always looking for that perfect just pop of natural lip color as like a chapstick or a stain so I can put chapstick over top. Lo and behold, I have discovered probably one of the most beautiful lip stain colors that I've found <laughs> in a long time. And this is just beets stained on my lips. And I have some on my cheeks too. I already had blush, but I had wiped it away. That mixed with the avocado oil, when I rubbed it on my cheeks, gave my skin a little bit of a glow. I just was messing around and this is the result that I got. So I am curious about straining the beet juice, getting it somehow separated from the beet, using that concentrated color stain to mix into some sort of salve. Whether, is that the word? I don't know I'm struggling to talk today. Um, Today I'm struggling in general. I have the worst headache. Actually, I don't know why I'm even active. I should just be laying down. I was thinking maybe jojoba oil or I have a glycerin, a cosmetic grade glycerin that I think maybe with that mixed might be something I can just pop on my lip. Right now I just put the little lip mask over top that I got on my Ulta unboxing, Christmas unboxing thing. Anyway, why am I getting like really hot all of a sudden? <sighs> I just got like so overheated. Oh, these period cramps, I tell you what, they're just like <sighs> giving me hot flashes. Uh, so anyway, um, that's my beet lip stuff. Oh, you guys, 
I've had a migraine, a cluster migraine. It's dormant at the moment, moment, which means it's still there, but it's kind of on, it's like, it's like chilling. But last night it got so bad, I was writhing around on the couch, just saying, end it to my husband. I was like, just euthanize me. It reminds me of when I had Coviticus 19 the third. I felt the worst migraines I'd ever felt in my life when I had it twice. Last night was bad. I ended up not cooking anything. I ended up not doing anything. I luckily edited the little reel that I made of the beet lip stain before it got really bad because when it got really bad, I, I went to bed. I was in bed by like 7.30 and I laid down and I just put on the quietest thing I can find on TV, which was one of my little cave things on YouTube. And it was really it's like calming. And I just laid there and I get them every time I start my period. Usually I get them the week before, but luckily this time I get it while I'm on it. <laughs> All right, here's the dress. So, you know, it's one of those things where I get it. Like, I love what they were doing with the design of this dress. I love this low, huge, ruffled hem, like, bottom to it. And would it be cute with a harness and some boots? It's very elegant. But no, no, I know myself. I would take it right back off. Okay, so as you guys know, I have been trying to listen to any sort of podcast that is a little bit more educational towards the things that I'm wanting to focus on this year. It is part of my resolution. So I am listening to The Beat. It's literally called The Beat. And it is a podcast about growing beets. <laughs> I'm going to listen to it because from what I understand, I am in zone 8B. I wrote it down in the Pacific Northwest. And so we have obviously a rainier climate, but as of lately, it has been getting very, very, very dry in the summer months. And so that scares me a little bit with the condition of my garden and how I'm going to keep it up and keep it healthy. I guess we'll get there when we get there. I just want to enjoy my spring and summer garden. I was hearing, or from what I understand, beets are good for spring planting. So this might be on the closer to-do list on my calendar. All right, we're going to cut. I already made a little mark here. Oh, these scissors are already so good. <laughs> I love. Look at that. Look at that crispy cut. Now we have some varying trim options. I'm just going to kind of hold them all up to see which I would prefer. This is the obvious go-to ruffle of most of my dresses do have this ruffle trim which is by far my favorite and I need to go get more because I'm starting to get low but I also thought we could wild card it but is it the right color pattern and scheme for this I don't know so I've got some thinking to do Are you my sewing buddies? Be careful. There's scissors down here. Be careful. You've still got paint in your ears, Bean. When are you going to let me get that out? So the dress is done and I started to think I have all of this extra fabric. It's a lot of fabric. What if I tried to make little shorts to go under the dress? Anyone listening to that episode, I'll be right. And perhaps it means the Patriots owed you, were owed you for an episode. I think that actually is what it says. <laughs> So I did end up sewing elastic around the shorts to make a more bloomer style. <laughs> oh my god, they're funny. It's cute. I think if my legs were super tan, I would love it. I would love it so much. But this just kind of gives me a little bit more coverage in the back, you know what I mean? I actually think the back came out the best because of the way it like dips down. So it really does fit the back really nice and then the little shorts. Oh my god! Overall, successful upcycle. All right, this is what I'm considering wearing to the event on Saturday. You guys have seen this dress already with the belt, but I just didn't know what to wear on the bottom. I do have these brown leggings, and I kind of like the idea of going brown. It is a little retro. I mean, I look like I'm straight out like the 60s or 70s. But this is that Michael Kors dress, and I think it's just really flattering on me, and that's always a win. And then for shoes, I have my Jimmy Choo like tortoise shell strappy sandals and this would be perfect the perfect place to wear them i look like a casino bombshell 
You know what I mean? Like, just one of those women that dates high rollers at the casinos. I kind of love. This is an up close of the shoe. Really cool. And now we are back in our January loungewear. <laughs> I'm gonna actually go downstairs and do some work on my computer now. So I will see you guys tomorrow. I have nothing on my face. I am self tanning. I do have on, if <laughs> you can see it, a towel for those of you out there wondering. I'm about to put on a bunch of Ipsy stuff that just came last night and I thought we would do it together because it's stuff that I could wear. I just, I'm self tanning. So right now I'm marinating in my self tan and I wanted to just remind you guys of the self tan products that I use. Uh, with the event happening tomorrow, I wanna be able to process today and tonight and then in the morning I will shower, have a fresh start, and um, not smell like self-tan, even though this doesn't really have a smell to it. So I use Beauty by Earth self-tan. I am not sponsored by them, but I am affiliated because I fell in love with their products and immediately signed up to be an affiliate because I knew I would talk about it every time I talked about self-tanning. This is a natural tanning brand and that's very hard to come by. I'm not gonna throw other tanning brands under the bus, but I just am really particular now about what's in products because of the fact that it messes me up so bad. I'm having a total allergic reaction and I know at this point it is my beloved YSL. I wish this product existed outside of uh, whatever ingredient it is that is causing this problem for me. But every time I wear it, my entire chin has a huge reaction to it, which sucks because tomorrow there's an event going on and I'm gonna have this on my face. With that said, I do still self tan from time to time. I'll take breaks, but I do like to try to keep up with it at least once a week. And this stuff is the kind that doesn't have a tan guide, so there's no dyes in it. It's just a foam, it's a clear foam. My face, I use the spray. This is the self tanning water bronzing face mist. I use this with the tan. I'll pat it in with the glove and then in the evening after I do my skincare I spray this on. You're looking at the reason why I am so concerned about products but I'll try something. <laughs> I'll try it. If it's not organic I'll still try it. I just you know could be allergic to it. So speaking of trying it let's go ahead and try this. This is the L'Occitane. Is it L'Occitane? L'Occitane. Um, I'm trying to think because I know that it's French. Anyway so I did get this in my Ipsy and I want to put it on my face right now. I sprayed some of this first and that is pretty much soaked in at this point so I can add a little moisturizer. Oh this is so cute. Look at the little top to it. It's so apothecary looking. Oh it feels really nice. That's light. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. Okay, this is their version of a light moisturizer. I'm curious what their heavy moisturizers feel like because this feels really nice. But that is, golly, I love that. <laughs> okay, so the next things are all really fun color. It's like gonna be my cheek, my eye. So I'm gonna do my foundation really quick. I just wanted to do that with you with the uh, moisturizer. And I might actually take my hair out of the towel. I have a hair mask on after doing my toning and then we'll return to do the color portion of this. I just wanted to show you what this looks like and how this felt, you know, first time, first impression. And I love it. Okay, I'm gonna go take care of the rest of me and put on clothes and I'll see you in a second. Well. I have to say, I sure do like a fresh tone. <laughs> I needed it. I also look a little wild with like half my makeup done, so I wanna hurry up and get some color on this face cause she's looking a little bit <laughs> deceased. So I sprayed my Amika leave-in treatment and pulled it back so it just has a little bit more time to soak in. I don't want to blow dry it when it's still this damp. I'm going to finish getting ready. So everything that I got from Ipsy is right in front of me. And instead of doing the like, look what I got and then not trying it, we're just gonna go as I have it here in front of me and try it all on. And I'm so excited to try this one because look, Look, this packaging speaks to my heart. Lily and Blossom infused brush palette by Seraphine Botanicals. 
these talc free blushes ooh we're already off to a good start we're formulated to deliver beautiful long lasting color with this seamless intensity that looks rich yet feels luxuriously feather light look at how pretty all these little blushes and it's got the same palette color oh i love and it's so great it has every blush color that you need in the springtime let's just go in with the rose one because that's a safe bet and i'm going to be so excited to use these in springtime very subtle because i mean look how that's a very subtle color i like that i like that for right now but when we want to take it up a notch let's just do a little over top i love a peachy blush i just think it's such a flirty color it just makes you look a little flirtatious <laughs> all right so next up this this is the next thing we have a ofra eyeshadow palette called the signature luxe palette the packaging is interesting to me it's giving 80s tron <laughs> the eyeshadows are really pretty though and i this is definitely colors that i gravitate towards truffle divine rodeo drive brown and clay this color right here oh my goodness do you see her so pretty so let's just do a subtle little um eye look nothing too crazy and intense because i'm going to target <laughs> i don't want i have to return some things i have to stop by ups and i have to go to target and look for tights so that's the on the agenda today is I do think I, I like the brown tights, but I think I want to just get some black ones. And I might still go with the brown, but I just, I want the option. This is so pretty. Do you see that? That's pretty. I really, I do know that the Ofra highlights are like next level. So it doesn't surprise me that the shimmery gold in this palette is the star of the show. That doesn't surprise me one bit we have a mascara this is by rodile the xl mascara look at the size of the mascara itself it's huge they have to be curled or else they just stick straight out it's pretty basic it's like you're it's a if you're looking for a really normal mascara <laughs> this is this is it but i i love the pat mcgrath it's so messy and thick and intense and goopy and gloppy and i love it but it makes my lashes look so thick look at the difference that was my tongue my entire tongue just tried to kill me um anyway look at look at the size of this mascara the mascara was okay you know it's not blowing my socks off like the pat mcgrath one but i felt that way about the pat mcgrath one when i first tried it i was like it's okay it's a little messy and then i after i've put it on and then seen my eyelashes in the viewfinder, I was like, whoa, <laughs> this mascara is great. Okay, so the next thing, Half Caked Instant Crush. I believe this is lip gloss. This is so up my alley. This is so something I, yes. I love clear gloss. I love gloss in general. But look at these. <gasps> this one's like a crystally. Ooh, I'm gonna wear one of these for tomorrow, I think. Aha, there you go. Look at those. If only you can see these in person. I'm most excited about this one just because I tend to grab for these clear, really highly glittered, like Buxom. I love the Buxom glosses. They're just so glittery. Ooh, it has like a purple. Ah, oh, I wasn't expecting it to have that purpley. Oh, I'm already getting it dirty. I think I wasn't expecting it to be so crystal. Like it's white. Let's try this one. The other one with the liner. Oh my God, that is gorgeous. Oh, I'm such a gloss whore. I love gloss so much. I would sell my soul. Oh, that is so stunning. Mm, I love this one. I thought I was gonna like this one more, but I love this one. I love it when it looks like glass on your lip. 
it's so juicy i feel like when people talk and they have a really good gloss on you're like mesmerized by their lips like all i can look at is their mouth when people talk with a really good gloss on i'm definitely going the gloss route tomorrow and i'll just have to make sure i touch up that is so pretty i'm really excited about this okay so the last thing is this real her hold on to your dream probiotic setting spray will this help my skin or will it hurt it <laughs> i don't know how my skin's gonna react never do interesting packaging it's like so chic wow oh I haven't used a setting spray like that in so long because I'm used to using fine mist sprays that that soaked my face. <laughs> like I felt like I just went through a car wash. I'm used to this. This is like a mist. I'm only wearing concealer. I'm not wearing any foundation today just because I'm wearing my tanner and because I'm having that allergic reaction. So I just, I'm only put on concealer. So I still have to blow dry my hair, toss on whatever shoes I'm gonna wear, and then I've gotta run some errands. And I'm gonna take you with me because we're going to Target. Energy's off today. <laughs> I don't know how to explain it, but energy is off today. I believe when everybody is just dealing with a lack of vitamin D, post Christmas, January, February, everyone is just, not in the greatest mood and it's an understandable thing but i haven't left my house in a while so when, I, when i'm going to like see people for the first time and what feels like a long time it just seems like a lot of grumpy people it doesn't help that you know it's just dumping rain and gray skies you know but i took my vitamin d this morning <laughs> So I'm actually feeling okay. Honest, I think I'm just, I'm feeling good because I don't have a migraine. So I woke up like, yes, <laughs> you know, I appreciate the days when I don't have it so much after having it for so long. But I did just play Matthew Wilder's Break My Stride because that song is what I play when I feel like I'm in a good, I'm in an okay mood, I'm in a decent mood and I don't want anything to invade this and make it ugh, you know? And so if I play that song and I sing it on full blast, then I can make myself feel good no matter what's going on. And that's a huge part of therapy is just learning to stay grounded within yourself no matter what the conditions are. And that's really what I'm trying to embrace and learn in life is just like, no matter what happens, no matter the chaos around me, how I respond to it is 100% on me. And I can choose to stay level-headed and not lose control. And you know, I did wake up and see the news and there's not some great things in the news. A little bit disturbing. Actually, a lot of it, a lot of, a lot of things are very just hard to take in. And so you just have to be able to like, have up an energy field blocker and just not let anything kind of break your stride. I've got to keep on moving. That's <laughs> that's where I'm at. Here are the tights I went with. They did have quite a selection. It took me forever to find them. The tights are nowhere near the clothing, like the women's clothing. These ones I wanted to make sure they just fit really well. So I went for the LXL just so that they're super comfortable, plenty of room. I'm gonna be eating. I wanna be comfortable. So that's what I went with. That's all I got. That was the most successful Target run I've ever done where that I literally just got what I needed and I left. I actually, when I went by that three and five section, I went like this. <laughs> so I didn't see any of the stuff they have in the front that's seasonal. It's like seasonal stuff. My hair, I love my hair color. I need to remember to do my tone, uh, my toning touch-ups more often because I really left a big window. I'm trying to space it out just to minimize the damage. I only used a 10 volume on my hair and I just did the toner that's like a color corrector. It takes brassiness and orange out. I already have the toner. So for $7, I was able to tone my hair to this color and minimal damage. But that's why I've been spacing them out so much because I don't want to over process my hair. 
So that's why if you see it going really orange, just know that I'm aware and I'm just trying to <laughs> really uh, limit the damage to my air if I possibly can. Oh, cool guy. That's such a dirt. Dirt? I'm a dirt. I'm a dork and a nerd. I'm a dirt. Hello. Welcome to party day. I am getting, well, I am ready. I'm ready and I need to go drink my kava. I made some earlier today and I need to construct it. We got to hit the road and I'm feeling a little bit rushed, even though I gave myself plenty of time. Still, still completely down to the last minute, but the outfit is on. I'm going to show it to you. I just like did a big curl on my hair. It looks so good toned now. And then we did a little bit of a fox eye with that really fun glitter that I was staring at months ago planning for this and I almost feel like the glitter is not the right color but it's too late now <laughs> I almost feel like I want to warm it up do I have time to warm it up Ooh, you know what if I can find a quick something or other to just pop over top that's a little bit warmer I might just try to squeeze this in real quick just squeeze this in real quick <laughs> did that warm it up a little bit you probably can't even tell it's not even noticeable just grab this hip dot palette i am so hot okay let's go get some kava and i'm gonna show you my outfit we're gonna hit the road oh it's so dark in here that it's not even gonna focus is it <laughs> here's the outfit if you guys can even see me maybe i'll get some video at the location if the lighting is good hey can i see your outfit Look at that gold chain. Look at that gold chain. Yes. Ooh, dripping, dripping. <laughs> you look very handsome. Yeah. <laughs> and I really like the uh, floral leggings. If you guys can even see this. I think they look really nice and uh, perfect. They're perfect. All right, I need to go make some kavas. We're here. The Museum of Flight. Is it cool? Wow, it's all the jets right there. You get to eat around all the jets? When you're a jet, you're a jet. <laughs> This is so cool, look. Wow. When we arrived, we entered this great room with various vintage planes hanging above us. There were waiters going around with appetizer trays and there were multiple standing bars. I went for a cranberry and ginger beer since venues haven't figured out that sober people exist and don't just want a soda. We chatted with several of his fellow electrician buddies and their wives. We enjoyed walking around the cool planes and helicopters, the massive M21 Blackbird. That's the world's fastest airplane that hovered over the tables. We were served three courses with salad and main, and I went for the filet that came with veggies and mashed potatoes and a sauce that was really good. We got dessert, chocolate cake, and cheesecake. Thanks to his company for throwing such an epic party, I got to speak to the chief executive of the company and he was the one who was part of putting this whole thing together and I just told him that it was such a beautiful venue. He said they wanted to offer something unique and that's why they chose it and I thought it was just such a great way to give a new unique experience to everybody as opposed to your typical hotel banquet hall. They did also offer everybody a cab ride for up to $150 to anyone who needed it to get home safe, which I thought was just such a lovely gesture, although everybody kept it pretty cool. It was a great experience and we had a blast. And just like that, we're home. It was so fun. The place is so cool. There's planes galore if you're a plane junkie. I thought it was really cool and I'm not even that big of a plain person. I actually prefer to stay out of them at all costs. But anyway, it's late. It's like late for us. To, it's like past 10 o'clock and for us that's late. <laughs> we don't typically like to be out past 9, honestly. I like to be in bed by 9 o'clock with my pups. They are happy we're home. She's pretty anxious. It's a little, a little anxious 
when we're not here, little. I know, but we're here now. See, we're humble go cuddle. So that's my plan. I'm gonna take all this makeup off. Because the venue was so interesting, it was minimal stress for me. So that was really good. And my uh, crystal really worked. So if you have problems with going to events and venues and things like this at all, maybe consider just talking to your therapist about tools to making you find things that help you feel better because the crystal because we did the dot therapy while I was holding the crystal and then talked about this particular event scenario as soon as I touched it I felt calm and that to me really blew my mind because I can't believe I've always been kind of a little bit skeptical I guess you could say about things like even hypnotism I've never thought I would be able to be hypnotized I never still have but it's just not anything that I've ever believed but I truly do believe in this type of therapy that I'm doing EMDR because it really does it works like it was it was the moment I grabbed it and touched it and I said to myself you guys know my thing witchy cabin I just said witchy cabin and I it was like instant <laughs> it's so powerful and it also makes you feel so good about yourself it's weird I'm really coming into a place of just <sighs> loving myself even through having these issues because for a long time you start you say terrible things to yourself because you feel like oh, I'm such an idiot like why am I like this I hate that I'm like this I hate that I can't go do these things and you are fighting against yourself and this whole therapy journey has really taught me to um, work with myself and accept and embrace these sides of me that feel this way and that they're just trying to protect me and it's it really makes you fall in love with yourself a little bit not in that way at all but like in a way of self-love it just makes you feel good and um that was a breeze and i drove there and back and i haven't been on the interstate since thanksgiving i'm gonna go wash my face and put on my new lacitan lacitan face cream because that's i'm addicted to it it smells so freaking good i love it so much i'm so excited about it so i can't wait to wash my face and go put that on and um we're done for the week so thanks so much for watching and please subscribe and I'll see you guys next week.